Did you know that 75% of cat owners often misunderstand their kitty's body language? Research shows that cats use over 20 different body movements to communicate with humans, and today we're going to decode them. We've also prepared two essential tips that will help you deepen your relationship with your kitty. Let's start with body postures. Cats have a unique skeletal structure. They've got no collarbone and the bones in their spine are more loosely connected than in most other animals. This gives them their famous flexibility. Let's talk about the loaf pose. If your cat is sitting with all their paws tucked under, they're feeling relaxed and content. Have you ever seen your cat lying on their back, belly exposed? Sometimes, it's a sign of absolute trust. Keep in mind that it's not an invitation to rub their belly. It's actually the other way around, it's a sign of trust that you won't touch their most vulnerable area. It could also mean that they are feeling hot and try to cool down, as cats can lose a lot of heat through their belly. And then there's the crouching cat. If your cat is hunched close to the ground, they're feeling fearful or anxious. Their ears might be flat against their head, tail wrapped closely around their body. They're trying to make themselves small and less noticeable, maybe trying to hide from something they're not comfortable with. Have you ever seen your cat making biscuits? It looks as if they're kneading dough. It's often associated with contentment and comfort. Cats do this when they're feeling really happy and secure. Then there's the famous sphinx pose, when your cat is sitting upright, with their front paws lined neatly in front of them. It's usually a sign of alert relaxation. They're comfortable in their environment, but they're also ready to spring into action at a moment's notice. This posture allows them to rest while staying alert to their surroundings. They can easily transition from this position into more active postures if they need to chase a toy, dart after a snack, or investigate something interesting. Last, let's talk about the puffed cat. If your cat looks twice their size, with their back arched, they're trying to scare off a threat. It's probably a good time to give them some space. Tail talk. Did you know that a cat's tail is a billboard of feelings? A cat's tail contains nearly 10% of all their bones. That's a lot of communication packed into one little tail. When your cat's tail is held high, that means they're happy, confident, and ready to be sociable. You see that subtle quiver at the tip? That's their way of saying they're really excited to see you. It's like getting a special personal greeting from your cat. Now let's talk about when the tail puffs up. It might look funny, but it's actually a sign your cat is scared or startled. They're trying to look bigger to fend off any threats. If you see this, give them a little space to calm down. Watching the speed and direction of a tail flick can actually predict a cat's behavior. A slow tail flick means your cat is deep in thought, probably planning their next mischief. But a fast flick? They're agitated or annoyed. So if you see that tail twitching rapidly, maybe give them some space. Now let's talk about the language of their eyes. First, let's take dilated pupils. In the cat language, this can mean they're surprised, scared, or stimulated. If your cat is in a well-lit room and their pupils are dilated, they may be feeling a bit uneasy. But remember, their eyes are also designed to capture as much light as possible. In low-light situations, their pupils dilate to let in more light, similar to how a camera works. What about constricted pupils? These vertical slits are a sign of focus or even aggression. Picture this, your cat staring down a toy mouse, with eyes narrowed to fine slits, ready to pounce. That's focus. But if they're staring at you like that, it's best to take a step back. Also, their pupils constrict in bright light, to limit the amount of light that enters. Now let's talk about the ultimate sign of love from your cat, the slow blink. It starts with a direct look from your cat, and then their eyelids slowly droop to a close, almost as if they are falling asleep. It's not a quick blink, it's slow and deliberate. This slow blink is their feline version of a smile. Cats are predators, but they are also prey to larger animals. Closing their eyes in the presence of another being leaves them vulnerable. 
So when your cat slow blinks, they're showing that they trust you enough to let their guard down. You can actually slow blink back to them. It might feel a bit silly, but to your cat it's a signal that you trust and appreciate them back. Ear expressions. Believe it or not, a cat's ear position can signal over 25 different emotions. That's more complex than almost any other pet species. Each twitch, each turn, they're trying to tell us something. So let's say your cat's ears are forward. This means they're feeling friendly and ready to play. But if they're back or flat against their head? Watch out, this could mean they're scared or aggressive. Remember, when the ears go flat, the mood goes flat as well. If your cat's ears are swiveling or twitching, that means they're attentive and ready for action. This happens when they're listening to multiple things happening in their environment. It's pretty much their version of having eyes in the back of their head. Let's dive deep into the mysterious language of purring. Did you know that purring is not always all about happiness? Purring can sometimes signal stress, fear, or even illness. We all know that cats love purring when they're content. But their purring can change subtly in tone and vibration when they're not feeling well or if they're under stress. Studies show that the vibration frequency of a cat's purring can accelerate the healing of bones and reduce pain and swelling. So in a way, they have their own built-in physical therapy session. What's more fascinating is the effect of these purrs on humans. They're known to lower stress and even reduce the risk of having a heart attack. Now that you've got all these tools to decode their body language, let's talk about how to effectively communicate back. Tip number one, let them make the first step. We all want to shower our cats with affection all the time. But here's the deal. Cats are a bit like celebrities, they need their space. So next time you're itching for some cuddle time, take a pause. Allow your cat to come to you when they're ready for interaction. This simple act of respect for their boundaries builds trust like nothing else. Moving on to tip number two, always keep your voice calm and quiet. Loud noises are very startling and stressful for your cat. So when you're talking to them, use your best calm and quiet voice. They'll appreciate the tranquility. Check out this video, where we decode 10 of the strangest cat behaviors and the meanings behind them. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and join our feline-loving community.